So today we're going to talk about where you can find social media content, you know, for that in-between time when you don't have listings or, you know, of your own real estate business things to post. And then I'll also go into how to schedule posts um, within command. So I'm going to share my screen and there are so many places that you can find free social media content. So one, if you are with the Ridgewood office, I believe other offices do this as well, but um, I'm not sure who sends it and when they send it. Um, the Ridgewood office, we send out a Friday um, market update every single Friday. You could literally take that exact picture and just post it if you wanted to, or you can take the information and make you know your own branded post. Um, and that could be something that you post every single week. Um, another thing that you all get, um, as a KW agent is a login for HomeKeeper. Um, if you aren't familiar with that, that is on your Scott Lurie password sheet. Um, and you go to pros.homekeeper.com um, and you actually would be able to log in. And I did put that. Um, um, no R. Um, you would be able to log in and you would want to put all your branding information in here. Um, and on the homepage, you'll see this once you put your information in. Um, and it is a free blog post. So as you can see, shareable blog content. To view that, you can go to view blog um, and you can see that you could, they post usually about three times a week. So you could have three times a week of posts that you wanted. Again, if you want to keep it simple, um, you could just download this photo and then take key parts of the blog and put it in your post and then post the link if they want to view more. The one thing with the blog it is burn it to you. So obviously I'm a staff member, so I use Roddy's as an example. Um, you can see that it does say that he wrote it um, and then he has his information and photo on the left hand side as well as his social media information. So you definitely want to make sure if you are sharing this that you do read the post because you never know someone could read the entire blog, um, you know, and want to know more information about it. So Homekeeper is definitely a key aspect. Um, if you are have been with the company for a while, you know, you probably don't know where your Scott Leroy password sheet is, um, but you can go here and sign up and put your KW email and all that information in it. It'll be free. Um, so that's one way. So already we have four posts you could do a week if you really wanted to. Um, another place that you can find information is every single month, KW Outfront, it's KW's magazine. Um, they will post a, this one is because it's Halloween season. They said 31 scary good content ideas for your October social media calendar. They give you a list from October 1st to the end of October of something you can post every single day. Um, so on week one, you know, October 1st, 2nd, 3rd, um, you have, you know, it's the start of a new month, manifest, September, uh, October 2nd, the right light can really brighten up a home. This could give you free content that you could take advantage of to create your own post with for every single day of the entire month. And as you can see, if you look through here, I don't think I've seen a single one of these posts used from people that I follow from KW and Facebook. Um, so it's definitely a great resource. Obviously, I probably wouldn't use this for every day, but if you need one a week, definitely take one of these. I mean, it's great content. You know, obviously you still have to make the actual social content, but you do have the idea already, which is usually the most effort to figure out what you want to be posting. So, you know, something listing. Um, this way coming comes, show off a sneak peek of your listing, autumn, autumn color palettes, um, fireplace, you know, it really gives you the entire month, every single day if you really needed it. Um, so I think this is huge. Um, so if you think about it, just between these three resources that I've already discussed, you have, you could post every single day, seven days a week of, you know, your in-between like some people like to call it filler content. Um, and I'll put this link in the chat so that you guys can have some ideas for October as well. Um, and again, this is KW Outfront. They also post just some general great content. 
Um, they'll post, you know, the quarterly numbers. Um, obviously some of them, the articles are more for yourself. Um, like five ways to position yourself as a market expert and wow sellers. Um, but maybe you want to talk about KW Cares and how it helped with Hurricane Ida relief efforts. You know, you could take some stuff from there. Um, nine questions to ask to prepare for success in 2022. That might help you with some posts that you want to relay to your consumer. Um, so any questions on Homekeeper or KW Outfront? Um, those are the two that I went over so far. Louise, um, I have a question. So in the out yep. front, you have the ideas for every single day, but do they have also the posts that you can just click and put on the on the you know, Facebook page or it's just the idea? It's just the idea. Um, so you can take, honestly, so like, for example, let's just say um, like this one, this one is really about talking about your vendor, but like say the autumn color palettes, you know, I would say, all right, that's a great one. Let me just go to Pinterest, search autumn color palettes. And you can literally take, you know, one of these photos and use this if you don't have time to, you know, create your own post. Obviously, you just want to credit this blog for the picture somewhere. Um, but I mean, this is a great way to really, I find that most people that come to me, where can I find stuff? Um, like this could be fun. This is the pumpkin spice palette, um, you know, is actually figuring out what content to post. So they don't give you the actual graph, but like this one, this one says, um, this one has actually the holiday graph. Like some of them have links. That's an Indian um, holiday. Sorry? That's an Indian holiday. Yeah. So some of them do have links. Um, so like this one says you have your finger on the pulse of this neighborhood market. And if you click on local expert, um, it will bring you into command on a design that is already in command that you could use. Um, so it will bring you to the local expert aspect um, of the templates within your designs. Um, you know, Indigenous Peoples Day. If you click on that, again, that'll bring you into the design any holidays, anything like that, they do already have designs in command that you're welcome to just download and um, take out. So it'll bring you to that page. So some of them do have where you can find the content for it. Others, you have to make it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, so besides those two, another place, and again, the way I found all this is just by researching. Um, as I also do transaction coordination, people hire me to do their social media. So this is how I find content for people um, as well. You can actually log in to the um, NJR um, and go to resource. And again, research, sorry, I'll put this in the chat as well. Um, and what you can do is actually get the stats um, for the previous month. So it does say that the previous month are uploaded on the 24th. So right now it's still only the um, August stats, but if you click on public stats and you choose an area and time period, um, it will actually bring up these stats and you can pull any information from this. This could give you, you know, a stat a week if you really want to pull it that way, um, like new listings um, for different, you know, townhouse, adult community, single family, um, show you the average price point, all of that. So this could be, you know, your stat post for the month or for the, you know, the week you could take each of these aspects. You know, if you want to do single family, townhouse and adult community, you have three posts right there. Or maybe you want to highlight on the amount of new listings or closed listings and then how the average is on market compared to 2020 is lower. Um, so you can kind of do all of those stats, you know, the supply on the neighborhood. So this is great as well. Um, I'll link this exact link in the chat too, so that you guys have this um, in there. Uh, so that is a great way to find, you know, stats that you don't have to find. They're going to be right here every single month. You can make it in your calendar, you know, on the 24th that you um, make it known to go here to get those stats and pull those for your posts. Um, Another place that you can find content um, is on the um, 
NAR website as well. And this will have the posts already created for you um, image wise. So what you would do is you would go to this website. And again, I'll put this in the chat as well. Um, and you would log in and then you can, um, you know, click on the share button where it says set clients up for success. And it will actually bring you to these blogs. And so let's say that, you know, what you need to know about buyer love letters, again, we're not really using those that much because you, of everything, you know, you can't say a lot within it. Um, you can do how to prevent home buyers remorse and you can click select. And when you select the articles, you can actually click next step and you could actually connect your social media to here. Um, and you would be able to share your, um, you would click on Facebook. And when you go to Facebook, it actually would put the article right away in there. And what I always do with articles, I think it's great to link them so that they do have, you know, the article to read the entire thing. But I do always think it's good to pull out some key points. So like um, you could pull out, you know, on top of that 13% of millennials so that they think that they paid a higher sales price than they should have, you know, pull out key things in here. Um, you could also, obviously, if you want to just make it just a social post with no article, you could just take the image and take parts of the article. Just remember to credit, you know, just say like article written by um, Lynn Enninger, um, how to prevent buyer's remorse. You do want to make sure you're crediting people. Um, but you could just take the image and part of the post and post that as your social post for the week. Um, if I click on this, you can see like there's multiple. So make an offer like a boss. They have how to, you know, make an offer, key points in that. So again, this is a huge benefit that, you know, I literally just went on Google and did real estate, um, New Jersey real estate free social media marketing. And this was one of the things that came on, you know, you have more that are more DIY home um, body articles. So you have fall outdoor living tips and you can see there's five articles and these are the themes of the month. So if you click on fall, you can see, you know, fire pit or money pit, you know, uh, three money saving landscaping tips, three ways to extend your outdoor living season. So you can use all of these, you know, read the articles, take key parts out there and use the images. Any questions on this? You do have to log in with your um, uh, your nerds number um, and your last name. But again, I don't think I've seen a single one of these posts. Anything I'm going over today, I really haven't seen on Facebook yet this month. And I try and make sure to interact with you guys as much as possible. So this is a great way to be able to feel comfortable and that, okay, you know, next week I have all my filler content you know, and then when you have that listing, that open house, you post those as well, but it's good to have content that is also related to your clients um, and consumers. You know, if you're talking about three ways to extend your outdoor living season, I would add in there, you know, say like, oh, I set up my fire pit so that we can still be outside, you know, even when it, the weather drops to 50 degrees, you know, add your own personal touch because that's what's going to make you stand out. Your consumers want to hear about your life as well as what's going on in the market and also tips for them. So basically you, you are able to post it on, on Facebook and Instagram, right? Yep. The one thing with Instagram is that um, links don't hyperlink in your post in Instagram. So they wouldn't be able to click on it um, like within the comments. So you can still put the link. They would just have to copy and paste it. Okay, thank or you. you could use that as a resource to say, comment below for the full article and that's a way to interact with your consumer and then you would just dm them the article as well um i think it's always good to do something like that you know raise your hand or comment a fire emoji if you have a fire pit you know get them to interact with you all right thank you yeah no problem so, so this is not in commands right this is in the uh in the Bergen community in rd Sorry, could you repeat your question? Okay, so this is uh, not in command. This is a National Association of Realtors? Correct. Do we have in command similar or we don't? Yep, that's going to be the last thing I go over so that I can okay. show you how you can schedule those quick posts because they do update every single month. 
command add new quick post every month that you literally have a write-up already that you could just automatically share. But I know people are always looking for more content to diversify their social media. So I wanted to share everything that, you know, resources that I use. Thank you. Okay. So, so far we went over Outfront, which has, you know, a post for every single day of the month. We went over Homekeeper and we also went over um, the NJR stats that you can get every month. Um, then also the NAR um, articles. And it seems like they do post pretty often. So I think it's a great resource, you know, take one a week if you want, or one a month, whatever the amount of content that you need. Um, and then something else that I just wanted to go over is on, you know, New Jersey MLS is our main MLS. So I'll show you on here. Um, you can pull stats any time of the month that you want um, right in here. So you can see also that you do have um, quarter three town comparison stats. And if I say I want to do single family, um, it would pull up. Obviously, this is kind of hard to look at, but it does give you by each town, which is nice. Um, but say you want to pull your own stats, you know, again, you could do a market update every week. You can go hover over stats and you can just go down to statistics. This is the way that I do. I know there's multiple ways. Um, you want to make sure it's on MLS statistics. You know, let's say that you wanted to do um, the beginning date as what's today, October 19th. So last Tuesday was the 12th. So I'll do 10, 12, 2021 ending day today. Let's say I want to do just residential homes, county, I want to do Bergen County and the area. I just want to do one specific area. Um, I'm just going to do Midland Park, click OK, um, and then I'm going to click Execute. And this will give you the sold stats for the past week. So, you know, in Midland Park, one home was sold, um, one house was new, two under contract. Um, current active, um, you know, the average price, average sold price, median price, average days on market. So this can really give you, you know, if you're trying to be specific in a certain town, I always recommend, you know, pulling these stats so that you are giving them, um, you know, what's going on in their neighborhood for that town. Or you could do Burn County, or if you want to do, you know, other things, you can do that as well. But this is a great resource for, again, all of the stuff I'm showing you is free. Um, so don't ever think that you have to pay for content because you do have all of these resources. Um, to go along the lines with um, this, something also I always recommend, especially if you are trying to focus your business on one specific town, always look up like Midland Park October events and just search the town and the events and you'll be able to see that, you know, Midland Park NJ, if you click on that, you could see the events for the month. Um, the other thing you can look on is, uh, the path website. So let's say that I clicked on Millen park. Um, again, this is something that you could remember to remind people in that town, you know, um, commingled waste is, you know, put that out on October 2nd or, you know, bulk, um, waste yoga, um, you know, other things, fall shredding event, that could be something fun that you could post about. So there's a lot of things that you can post about within the town as well. Um, you know, in towns near, I know some towns do concerts, you know, want to make that known as well. Um, so that's all the, all the outsourced um, social media that um, content that you can find, like I said, pretty much could have at least one full month of filler content at, for five days a week if you really wanted to. Now, within command, um, there are, you know, some templates that you can use that um, you would have to write up, you know, the actual content part of it, but you would have the social. Um, but if you go to command, and again, it's agent.kw.com, and you click on the campaigns button, which is like the megaphone, and you scroll down, you'll see this thing called quick posts. And this is legit just quick posts, like it says with complete write-up that you could use. So for example, this one, all you have to do is click this little share button and it's gonna open it up so that you can schedule it. Has the photo already, you know, it even gives you nice emojis, um, you know, things that are super popular right now, pumpkin spice, football, cozy clothes, 
that was a tongue twister, um, new homes. And then it has a write up. Obviously I always recommend like, you know, if it's something that you can, um, a lot of them, sometimes they have vendors add your own personal touch, you know, put in, you know, text me today, you know, on your phone number, whatever you want to put. But if you really didn't have the time, you could really just publish this immediately, um, which is great. So I use this a lot. So my Facebook's always disconnecting, but you would be able to see the preview on the right hand side. And again, I'm going to go over how to create these scheduled posts as well. Um, but these quick posts are huge. Um, you literally wouldn't have to do anything if you didn't want to. I have a question about command. Yep. Uh, it's only for Facebook, right? Because I don't see any other options that that the command, you know, offer you, for, for Instagram. Oh. You mean to schedule or for designs? I mean, just to for designs. If you want to yep. post something, it's just through Facebook, right? They don't have that no. option for Instagram, right? So for the designs, they have options for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter, um, Instagram stories, Snapchat stories. They give you the dimensions for the appropriate thing. If you're going to be posting to Facebook and Instagram, I always recommend just making the Instagram um, square because Facebook allows that. Um, but I'll get into the designs part and show you oh, where okay. you can find so, the correct part. All right. So just to make sure, just it's, it has to be through design, no campaign. Campaign is only for Facebook, right? So campaign, like you said, you can only you can post schedule to Facebook and Twitter. Um, because Instagram is strictly just a mobile um, oh, application, okay. you're not allowed to. Um, they don't allow that. Um, but you, um, you know, you could download this. Something I always do is I just email myself with the exact write-up I want and the photo, and then I'll post it on Instagram. Um, so as you can see, the social posts, you do have other options, you know, pop quiz, um, bad joke alert. Um, they, like I said, they update this they'll change out the images for some of the posts. So you really get like three to four posts that are free. You know, you could do those once a week. Cause like I said, they do change them out monthly. Mm. Um, so those are your quick posts where you would have the complete write up and an image already ready for you. Um, in designs, so designs, you know, you can go in here, you know, if you find content and you need to create a design for it, you could use that um, so that you can create, you know, it's very similar to Canva or other similar design tools. Um, you can come in here and click create design. You, you know, for in this case, we're going to choose social and click continue. And this is where you're going to be able to see all of the templates that you can use. So on the left-hand side, you'll see KW app, listings, buyer, lead generation, business basics, et cetera. Um, under listings, let's just say I chose just sold. Um, at the top, you can see social wide, which that would be Facebook mainly and LinkedIn, social square and social story. So social square, you can post a social square on really any platform except the square. Um, you know, if you're just sticking with Facebook, you can do social wide so that you have some more room to add things to social story, you know, works for any type of story that you're putting on, on any platform. Um, so you do have, as you can see, like this post is exactly as it is in the square as well as in the wide. So you could keep that consistency if you wanted to. Um, like I, you do have some free content in here as well. Um, so you could do under lead generation, if you click on I love KW, um, they have red day posts, which obviously is until May, but that you will have that in here. Um, you have, you know, a recharge post if you wanna talk about, you know, self care, um, our belief system, keep calm and Keller on. Um, there's some, you know, referrals posts um, and other posts in here that you could use to create other things. If you click on inspiration, um, you have, you know, women make up of 50% of KW leadership. You have the millionaire real estate agent energy plan, um, some other things, pro tips um, that you can click in. And there's different tips that you can take from there. Um, if you click on, I think that's it for this one, but um, in expert advice under lead generation, you have tax benefits and tax deductions. This is always great to post and they'll give you, if you click on tax benefits per se, um, when you open it up, it'll give you some different posts you can use. And again, you can change the color if you want, um, anything like that. 
So you can see that on the right hand side, you have seven pages. So first page is about mortgage interest. Second page is about property taxes. So you can take these individual posts and post them. You know, maybe you want to bring up a tax benefit once a week, you know, in the month of April or whatever you want to use it. Um, you do have that ability. Um, other places in here in the template. So you have free content under lead generation, under expert advice. I love KW and inspiration. Um, under leadership, you have bold. You know, if you're doing bold, I highly recommend posting these. They're great, you know, quotes that you can use. Um, you also have franchise awards. So that's about Keller Williams. Um, these are great just so that your clients know that you're involved with the number one company for work-life balance best place for um, best workplace, top residential real estate franchise, um, best employee for diversity, award the most innovative real estate companies. So again, these are some free posts that you can use. Um, under um, KW value propositions, um, you do have, you know, our closed volume for 2020 versus 2019. Um, again, some other culture and free posts that you can do. Um, some are more so just, you know, motivational quotes. Some are um, more like little tips. Um, so these are another great way, the easiest way to make a um, move you'll ever make. That can be for recruiting, um, you know, build your wealth without limits. Again, some of these posts are better for recruiting, but those are always, you never know, a consumer could be interested in real estate and you could get them in your downline. So it's always good to post about, um, you know, what you like about working for KW as well. Um, under that, like I said, you have holidays and they laid it out perfectly now where you have every single month. Um, so you could schedule these out for the whole year if you wanted to. So we went to October. Again, you do have social stories, square and wide options. Um, you have the different holidays. Um, you have Halloween posts. Um, you have some spooky posts. This one's like a spooky Halloween house for sale, trick or treat. Um, you know, for November, you would have Thanksgiving, um, Happy Hanukkah, um, all those posts. Like I said, these are free, you know, socials that you don't have to design yourself. You could just add your logo if you wanted to or leave it like it is. Um, so those are kind of where you can find, you know, your um, free posts under collections. You can also find Pivot Shift Ahead. Um, these are just some more free posts that you can use. Um, a lot of these they were using during the um, pandemic, um, but they're still great to use, you know, the perfect home office, um, take a break, you know, thank you to certain people, um, all different types. Again, you might not want to use all of them, but it is free content. So again, you have probably a few weeks worth um, of free content. You have, you know, a few holidays, you know, at least one holiday a month usually that you can post about. Um, I always recommend doing at least one recruiting post a month. Um, you know, growing your downline is huge, um, you know, especially with the new incentives in BCP um, to get you down to zero cap. So definitely want to grow that downline. But these are all areas that you can create those free posts. Um, so what I'm going to do is let's say that I wanted to create a free post and schedule it to go out for next week. So let's say that I want to choose one from inspiration. And I'm going to do um, No One Succeeds Alone. So I'll click on that. We have classes that go over how to actually use designs, um, you know, and, but for right now, I'm just going to take this and I actually don't have to download it. I just can, you know, I always like to put the date on when I change things um, and I can click done and you're going to click save. And what I'm going to do is go back into campaigns and I'm going to click um, create campaign, social post, and it's going to preview the logo. If you have the logo in the design, you can delete this, um, but it's just for legal purposes that they do put it there. So in case you forget, um, so, you know, I'm going to add that design that I just pulled from the design library. So I can actually just click browse design library. And these are all of my social posts. Um, so I can click on the no one succeeds alone and it'll take a second to load. And then you can preview and crop it. You can choose free if you want to like take out some of that red blocking maybe and click crop image. 
And again, you'll see the preview on the right. I just do this class a lot. So my Facebook gets mad at me for re reconnecting and disconnecting my account all the time. In your content, you know, you can say hashtag motivational Monday. Um, and if you want to leave it like that, you could, or you could say, you know, no one succeeds alone. Contact me today to find out how to start your real estate business. You know, if you want to use that as a reference for a recruiting tool. So you can do an image. If you had a link, you know, you could use the link, you know, if you want to do a post about a blog, you know, but you want to add some text, you could take that link for the blog, put it in here. You can put a video in here. You know, maybe you have your um, virtual tour that you want to add that link, um, video link or the video exactly to post that. You know, you can schedule that for when it's going live. Um, you would scroll down. You can choose if you want the logo on the left or the right side. Um, and then when you go to schedule the post, you can do schedule or publish immediately. So if you want to schedule it, you would click on this calendar tool, scroll down, choose the date, I'm going to choose the 25th, and I can choose the time. Um, I'm going to choose 9 o'clock. And AM, you can click out of it. Again, your page will be selected, and you can click schedule post. I'm not going to do it because it's not connected, um, but it's super simple. Again, this you can schedule to Facebook and Twitter. Um, something I recommend is, you know, we talk about in the other classes that I, we, me and Casey do is social content calendar. Um, you could also do the entire write-up and add the photo in your email so that you can, um, you know, make sure that that gets posted. Um, but really, like I said, this class was more about where you can find content. So I went over about five different areas, really six with designs. Um, again, in command, you have campaigns for those quick posts. Um, and then in designs, you do have some free content in there, whether it just be the social image um, or also, you know, some of those parts do have um, the actual like tax benefits. You could take the little write up from that. Um, and then we went over Outfront, Homekeeper Blog, NJR, NAR, um, New Jersey MLS, you know, looking up your town specifics, 